My name is Martin Jordan. I'm a clinical senior lecturer at Bangor University in North Wales in the UK. I've been a GP for many years. I'm also a member of the Global Respiratory Infection Partnership. I think pharmacies have a really big role and pharmacists and pharmacy assistants have a really big role in how we tackle antibiotic resistance and use antibiotics in a better way. Um, and, and that largely applies to respiratory tract infections. I think that um, as much as possible they should see themselves as the first port of call for most patients who have those kind of symptoms who want to um, get some advice. Uh, and I think pharmacists are really well placed to make sure that they, the, the patient can receive the most appropriate advice in terms of treating the symptoms. Um, and a big part of GRIP is, is about making sure that patients are directed or counselled about the most appropriate symptom relief. The, the issue is that symptom relief is actually much more effective than the antibiotic and there's very good evidence that that's the case for most types of respiratory tract infection. I think patients who have a respiratory tract infection should consider whether it's something that could be managed themselves, so self-management is a key point. I think there should be a better understanding of the fact that most of our respiratory tract infections are self-limiting and um, these things are going to go on for a certain length of time whether we give people antibiotics or not. If you've got a cold it's going to last for one or two weeks. If you've got a cough related to a cold that might last for three or four weeks. If you've got sinus symptoms with a congested unpleasant discomfort in your sinuses, that might last for several weeks. If you've got a sore throat, it will last for a week. If you've got a, a child with a sore ear, that might last for a few days. And it's having that understanding of the duration of symptoms and knowing what, where to go for pain relief and symptom relief that's probably more important than, than uh, thinking that an antibiotic is necessary. In the future, with patients experiencing respiratory tract infections, I think that, that I would like to see, I would have this kind of vision, this dream that, that will change what we do. And I'd like to see patients consider what's wrong, what's causing the problem. Um, I'd like them to uh, decide whether it's something that they can manage themselves, whether they've got enough information to manage it themselves, um, whether they've got the right kind of things that can relieve their symptoms. and. I would like to see them think. To, I would like to see them um, see the pharmacist as the place, as the first port of call. So I think that they should go along, and my dream would be that they go along and see the pharmacist, and the pharmacist does a an assessment of their needs, um, is is careful to make sure that they don't have anything more serious that might be causing the problems, and then directs them very clearly towards the most appropriate symptomatic treatment. And for the majority of patients, for I think probably 95% of patients, that would be the best pathway. I think behaviour change is fundamental to how we tackle antibiotic uh, use and, if you like, misuse or inappropriate use. And it's something that GRIP are very keen on. And they've looked at a range of models. And the one that really strikes home is something called the COM-B model for behaviour change. And basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a way of making sure that you have the right environment so that things can, can change and that um, both healthcare professionals can change their behaviour with regard to how they see patients and how they prescribe, but also how patients themselves can behave. So it works very well when I say patients' behaviour, I mean in relation to having a respiratory tract infection. So it, it works very well. Um, in terms of uh, changing people's approaches. And I don't think there's anything more important than antimicrobial resistance, antibiotic resistance at this point in time. It is a really pressing public health concern. We must do something about it.